Hey guys, this is sort of a promotional video, but the uh, content is 100% is right. The Bolt Depot, why you must go there and buy these little things and put them in your record. Now the Bolt Depot was kind enough to send me there. There are other gauges too, the ones on the chain link. These are the ones I use the most. I just left Lowe's today. It took me forever to try to find the, I'm working on a, on a vehicle I'm restoring, and I ordered this line, but I finally got this thing unfrozen. It was a, it was a um, cold fused um, together, and it it's, it's barely has some. It has a lot more friction. It, it, it can't really turn. Nevertheless, I used the gauge at the Lowe's uh, guide there, and, and this worked inside the wrong one. It worked in the 125 when I put it in. So obviously, I cross-threaded some threads on this. I have ordered another one, not, not because of this, but because I couldn't get it undone. So I ordered one and I said, you know what, now that I ordered it, I'll go ahead and just consider this a loss and I'll just tear at this thing. So I literally ground, ground away the uh, edge of it to try to see if the cold, the cold well was at the tip or was it in, inside the back of it. I put a settling, a settling torch on this, everything. I tried freezing it. I tried a few methods. And in fact, the freeze method was that can method. I am uh, definitely calling that junk. Um, uh, so there we go. So I tried, you know, cycling it. With that said, I'm working on the brakes. This is the clutch and this is the brakes. This part here, I could spend forever trying to look it up. Um, it's got multiple, it's got two different ends. Uh, or you just buy this darn thing, you're going to be out like six bucks for both of them, I think, including shipping or something around that. I don't care if you're out ten bucks, it's worth it because it was a waste of my time this morning um, I'm going there. So we, we stick it in there, we see it's three eighths. Do not get confused with with the numbers there. I have, I've looked at this and said, oh, is that 7 16th? Of course not. It's three eighths. Uh, then you turn it around on this gauge and you start working your way down. This is way down here at 24. This is, so it's three eighths, 24 on that end, confirming this end. We also see it's 24 3 eighths. So if I'm working on my brake lines, I now know that, you know, if you go to the store, take this with you because they mismatch them and they tell you, you got to find your own off the shelf. So now I'm looking, I'm looking at 3 eighths 24 on both ends of, the, ends of this. No problem. This is the guy that whipped me. Whipped me. So I go to metric here. Under metric, it is 12 millimeter. Remember, that's four, the one next to it. So that's 12. And the, the 125 was what worked in the store, cross-threading it. As you can see, the new threads are now 125 down there. In reality, if I look at it and line it up, it is going in the wrong direction. See that? That's my point. It is 10, not 125. So now I've got to attempt to see if I can rethread this, and it, it would work. It can still work if the back of these actually thread in. If this is the only part threading in, then now the $25 part that's in the mail today, I've got to wait for it to show up. It was a uh, damn Amazon now. They're uh, using UPS, and they want you signed for it. I'm like, really? You guys dropped it off all the time. Now UPS is doing a signage. Um, so it's 10, not 125. Even with my skill set, I still got this wrong at the store. It felt good, had a little bit of resistance, but I thought that was because the thread was a little bit trashed because I, I slipped a couple times trying to grip this tip to rotate it. This whole thing is me trying to tell you, it's best money spent, guys. Don't waste your energy on walking up and down the aisle, trying to match up this and that, bringing your part there. This, you're going to love me for. Do this. Spend the $10 for shipping, whatever it might be. Maybe it's less, but it's, it's worth it. It's worth it. This gauge, I use more accurately than anything. And I'm going to continue working on the brakes, but now this will be there. And I'm going to have to get another set, because I feel like if this broke, I'd, I'd be, I'll be crying. All right, so there we have it. The Bolt Depot's combination set that I'm... That I'm marketing for free for them that say you should you should purchase these guys it really is worth it take care